Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Maplewood Intermediate School in Huntington Station, New York, part of the South Huntington Union Free School District. My first visit to their school I'm in the hallway here outside their cafeteria. Uh, another incredible day in my first school of 2024. So got to kick it off the right way with a lot of heart, a lot of passion, some tears too, uh, some of the emotional stories, some of the teachers and students shared their heart with me afterwards. So that's something I share, touch their heart. And I always say, if something does touch your heart, that means you have a big heart, right? And the message today was not so much focused on bullying, that was the principal theme, but more on the sub theme of looking at someone's heart first, right? The same way that you see your best friend. And I love that they have so many bulletins uh, up and down the hallways here at the school. This one says, be a friend, it says, be kind, it says, love. And if we can keep it that simple, knowing that our heart is big as our fist, if we can let love, peace, compassion, kindness fully enter into here, right? We can turn that into this, the peace sign. One finger is for ourselves, the other is for someone we're trying to lift up higher than ourselves, how we choose to treat that person. But it's also two, because in just two seconds, right? Uh, one action, one breath, one heartbeat, one word, two seconds, we can do or say something so kind that it sees in someone's heart in a positive way forever. Or conversely, we can say something so mean it sees in their heart in a very negative way for the rest of their life. And so we have that choice. And, you know, no matter what pain we're going to go through, whether it's loss, whether it's rejection, whether it's, you know, bullying that does happen to us verbally, physically, um, whatever it is, we know that uh, we can always rise above that hate, right? And that uh, even though that hurt might still be there, we can always choose to forgive. And I always say the biggest reason that bullying does happen, uh, I've talked in 20 states, not over a million students, but the number one thing I always see is that hurt people hurt people. We choose to push that pain onto someone else because that's easier, right? That we're hurting, well, I'm gonna make someone else hurt uh, versus the more courageous and difficult stance, which is healed people heal people, right? That we choose to forgive. You know, we choose to let that kindness that was shown to us really just start to permeate uh, other hearts that we come in contact with. And like Mark Twain, a famous author said, you know, kindness is the language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see, and they can't really hear or see it, of course, but they can feel it in their heart. And the students got that, right? Had them all point to their hearts and say, it's all about the heart. And if they can look at that before anything else, whether someone's born different than them, looks different, talks different, sees different, hears different, different skin color, speaks different language, learns differently, whatever it is, wears different clothes, eats, eats different foods, we can still choose to accept, right? We can still choose to see that person as a human being and we can still show the kindness that this world desperately needs. Right. And so that's some of the principles we tried to reinforce, you know, being a best friend, you know, having the courage to stand up and do what's right, whether it's being the voice to the voiceless or someone with a no voice or a small voice, you know, we have that choice. And hopefully we do choose, you know, to empower others. No, we never have to do this alone. And like I always mention, you know, the people here at this school, uh, every school I speak at, the teachers, you know, they see these students as family and they want the best for everyone here, you know, to feel safe, to feel respected, to be yourself. And when you start to see some of these students supporting each other uh, after these programs uh, and just see that, you know, what, what, what you shared really touched their heart. I mean, it touched my heart that much more because I see these future leaders stepping into uh, their purpose and, you know, shining that light. And it's just a beautiful thing, right? To really try to uplift others higher than themselves, and always know this concept too that I share in all my programs, the M on all of our palms. They love this today too. A lot of them are tracing theirs with washable marker. But all of us with the lines on our hand have the letter M. Like the front of my shirt, this M stands for miracle. Uh, sometimes a faint line connects. You have at least one in each hand. All right. And upside down, that W stands for worthy. But we're all beautiful miracles, worthy of love to give it and receive it. We just have to remember that right? That sometimes we need to be that light to someone else's heart, help them see that they're great enough. And first and foremost, have to believe our own self-worth too. So thanks for all for touching my heart. Hope to see you all again soon. Have a great start to the new year. And as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You'll see it pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone tablet, wherever you're watching this video, to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.